Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven's Story Reviews. Hey, collectors, it's going to be Steven here, and I have a different sort of unboxing here today. Um, you know, my standard style, opening up and showing you everything. But for today, because we have such a long boy here, uh, we don't really have the ability to do a 360 spin view, but I do want to open this up and kind of show you the goodies on the inside. So today we are taking a look, first impressions of the Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box set from NECA. So with this one, it is hitting stores now, more so specifically Target. Uh, we do have the ability to check stock because this is not being stocked by NECA through vendor. Uh, this is being stocked by Target proper, which is a bit new. Uh, we have a few other things that are hitting at the same time as this. So all of that stuff is being stocked by uh, Target proper, which is two thumbs up because if you know the struggle, then you know the struggle with it being vendor items. So because of the style of this unboxing, I'm going to have to do a quick cut here to show you the top and the bottom and the sides of the box. And it, overall, the art style is very, very nice of this. I really do like the style guide that they used, but there is one issue with the box art of this, more so specifically the promo shots that they had and the way that this is packaged. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut back to the back of the box here. And for those of you who are not aware, uh, we do have an issue and we're going to go ahead and take a look here. Um, it's very, very apparent when you take a look at the overall feel for who the turtles are. Have you noticed it yet? OK, maybe not. Let's go ahead and flip back over to the front where we actually do have a very, very nice front flap that opens up. So this way you can check the quality control of your turtles, which it is apparent again when you look at the overall feel of your turtles. Have you noticed it yet? OK, so the way that it is laid out is we have the weapons next to the turtles, right? So this is supposed to be Raph. This is supposed to be Mikey because he's got the nunchuck. We obviously have Donnie with his bow and then we have Leo with the swords, right? Here's the issue. We have Raph. We have Mikey. So I haven't opened this up yet, but I have very, very credible sources. This is Mikey and this is Raph. They got him flipped. So with that being said, we see all the other accessories like we have these not throwing stars, so like shuriken, I guess you might say. I'm not really quite sure what the technical term for that is. But we have Raph's Disguise, and it looks like that's going to be it aside from different bandana types that we have. And we do have alternate hand parts. We do have the alternate armband part, which is pretty neat. And even though this is meant to be specifically for one turtle, obviously because they share pretty much the same body, um, you can reuse them for all the different turtles. So Paul Harding sculpted this. Uh, for all the different turtles, which is really cool. Um, he does a lot of stuff. He's working with a lot of different companies these days. Um, if you follow him on Twitter, he pretty much posts everything that he's working on. And this does not want to open for some reason. So there we go. So I'll go ahead and open this up. So it just opens up from the side. And then we slide these guys out. So real quick, oftentimes NECA does a nice backdrop on the inside of the box. And you can see here is actually the artwork, specifically one of the shots that he referenced for the sculpts of these turtles. I will actually link in the description uh, the post that he made in reference to these guys. So let's go ahead and bring the tray on out right here so we can actually see the layout for everything. Now to open these up, unfortunately, um, NECA uses these little tie downs for the turtles, which can be a bit of a pain because you have to basically snip them to get these turtles open. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the accessories. And uh, date of recording, this will probably go up the day after, is going to be June 25th. And for those of you who don't know, Mutant Mayhem stuff <laughs> this one isn't set, set in. Uh, Mutant Mayhem stuff. Um, the street date has officially been lifted, apparently. Um, so if you are looking to head to your local Target to get your Mutant Mayhem stuff, you should be able to with no issues. Um, I may have to flip this, these guys over to the back. Yeah, so Leo was not tied down correctly. Oh, we got arm ties, too. We have plenty of these, which, again, I just hate. 
I really wish that NECA and associated companies that use these would just opt for a top cover tray because these just get everywhere. And if you have pets who for whatever reason just so happen to want to chew everything like cats, um, it can be a danger to them because if they do decide that they want to chew on these, then uh, it can get stuck in their gums and that's not fun. So I think just for accessories sake, we'll take a look at some of the more noteworthy ones. Like we'll take a look at the weapons. Okay. So I suppose first and foremost, let's take a look at one of the swords, the katana. We can see some rather nice detailing there. So I'm not really a fan of the Mirage stuff. I mostly do not have an attachment. However, this set just looked so nice, I had to pick it up. It's been sitting for a minute. Here's Donnie's bow. The way my camera is set up is a bit different than what I'm used to, so... I'm going to be fumbling a bit. Here's like a throwing gear, I guess you might call it. I don't really know what the term for this is. It's really cool. Oh, this is nice. We have uh, Mikey's Nunchuck. Which actually has like a string in between them. Some painted detail, like you can see a little bit of shading there. And then we're going to have the Psy. Come on. For Raf. Which is really blown out. Let me fix that. There we go. It's a little better. A little shaky shake, too. My apologies good all right so here we have Donnie looking good you can see the head sculpt just a quick joint test which my initial introduction to NECA TMNT was the cartoon set and the, the uh, quality control was abysmal I needed NECA assistance for uh, some replacement parts and oh ball joints nice yeah it took them forever to get back to me but they did little tail so nani's a thumbs up we'll go with leo next is leo a winner um may have to give these guys a little bit of a hot water bath which is okay oh interesting Okay, so I'm going to bring them up real close. You can clearly see there's some grease in there. Some oil of some kind. Which is, uh, interestingly, something NECA has been doing for some of their releases. Um, when they've caught quality control issues. Like, I know there were some reports of uh, Muck Man. Oh, so you heard a snap. That was uh, the joint unlocking itself, which is fine. Then we have what is intended to be Mikey, which there's your M. I don't even need to zoom in to show you that. Again, he was paired up with Raf's stuff. When well, you know what you're doing, heat is somewhat optional. So we have Yep, you can see. I mean, it's fine that they add in that oil stuff to it because I do it myself, but it's an identifier from uh, NECA that they have joint it, which, okay, so here's Raf. You can see that he has some oil here, but he doesn't have it here. Let me you can see even part down there, but not up here. So. So 
So this is definitely locked up in some capacity. So these guys will, oh, we have a loosey goosey. Yep, these guys will need a heat treatment in some way. All right, and so with that, we have everybody opened up. We have them in some neat poses here. And overall, I would say that I am pleased with what I have so far. Um, one thing that I did note when these were first revealed, I thought they were super bulky and I didn't really feel the TMNT style with them. However, having them in hand, they don't seem quite as bulky as I thought that they would be uh, from the promo picks and definitely I am glad to have them. Again, I'm not really a comic fan of the Ninja Turtles. I will say Last Ronin was pretty fun. I do have that, gotta open them up yet. But uh, nevertheless, I do like these. I'm more of a video game fan actually more than anything else. But again, these are great. So happy I got them. I actually think that these may very well be contender for the best NECA Turtles so far. But I do have to dig into them a bit more and I do have to loosen up and unlock some of these joints. Um, I do unfortunately have a feeling that Raph here, um, after playing with him just a little bit, um, some of the arm joints may unfortunately be a lost cause, but I gotta fiddle around with it, we'll see. So with that being said, I hope everyone enjoys whatever turtle product are coming out. I hope you enjoy it so much. I do have Splinter from this lineup coming uh, to open up. I don't think I'm going to be picking up anything else from the Mirage stuff or even the IDW stuff if they decide to really, you know, mix and mingle aside from what I have. But nevertheless, two thumbs up so far for what I got. I don't really think there's anything bad from NECA's TMNT lineup except for spotty quality control issues. And even then, most of that is correctable with joint knowledge. So thank you so much for watching links in the description for everything that are appropriate thank you to the patrons who support every month or even just one month if you can here's going to be the end card again we got some fun stuff coming up this summer new equipment i'm actually recording this video with a new mic system that i got and that is why we decided to do this video this way so let me know your thoughts in below about the audio quality and now we've actually transitioned on over to the end card so you can check out some other videos including some other TMNT stuff. And yes, this is the beginning of a TMNT push throughout the summer and even into the fall because Mutant Mayhem, I want to celebrate it, even though not all that excited for the movie, but nevertheless, we'll see what happens as more promo material comes. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.